What is up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install LSPDFR for GTA 5 on the PC. Do not ask if this is for Xbox or PS4. If another person's, a I'm just going to lose my mind if another person asks me about this. I mean, it's just every single day that I have. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you both the manual installation and the automatic installation. So I will leave links down below to everything you need. Uh, so once you're on the LSPDFR download page, this is the first thing we're going to be doing. Click download this file and download the manual install.zip. So uh, after you have that downloaded, go into your Steam library, uh, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, go to properties, local files, and click browse local files. This is the easiest way to get to your directory in my opinion. There's, there's different ways to get to your main directory, but this is the fastest. Uh, so now you're going to want to open up the WinRAR that has all of your files in it, all of your manual installation files. Highlight all of them and drag them into your main directory. So I already have it installed, um, so you won't get prompted. I'll show you guys in a minute once it appears. You won't get, this will not appear, so I'm just going to click skip because I already have everything in. Uh, so another thing you're going to want to make sure is up to date is Raychook. So as you can see in here, this Rage, uh, Raychook EXE is from January. And the newest version is from March, so it's it's been updated. So uh, I will leave a link down below to this as well. Go to downloads and download the newest version, and I already have it right here. Um, and it's it's literally the same thing as LSPDFR. I mean that's the way everything is uh, when it comes to the three things I'm showing you. So just drag it into your directory, and um, the last thing you'll need is Scriptook V and just click download and uh, drag these two files in script hook and this one as well you don't need native trainer if you want native trainer you can you can have it it's uh, it's a thing that allows you to spawn vehicles in and, and whatnot but I have a different one so I'm not gonna use this one uh, but just drag those in as well so that's all there is to it for the manual installation of LSBFR um, but I will show you guys the automatic installer so when you go to here and you download the automatic installer, um, you get this right here. And this is really straightforward. It's it's just like installing a game. Um, so I'll show you guys what it's like. It's, you know, the manual installation is really, it's much more difficult, but I prefer doing it that way just because. Um, and you will still need to keep Rage Hook up to date even if you do the automatic installation. So you just find your, your directory here, click next, and it'll install it for you. Alright guys, so the last thing you need to know is that you need to launch your game using RagePluginHook.exe. You can't do it normally, otherwise it won't work. Uh, so if you want to go into your directory and then make a shortcut of this, you can. Um, and I just did that and put it on my desktop so I could just play the game from my desktop. So anyways, guys, that's all you need to do. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, so anyways, thanks for watching my tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.